If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey Internet, welcome back to the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month, where today we're going to learn how to make one of the shooting schedules here for your movie using the free Google Calendar. A shooting schedule is really important because, while it's not a call sheet, meaning it's not a detailed record of everything that needs to happen on the day of your shoot, it's kind of a general record, a general idea, so people can plan a couple of weeks or a month in advance and change their schedules accordingly because they probably are volunteers, uh, so they can plan for when they are going to need to show up. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this in Google Calendar, and the first thing you need is a Gmail account, of course, so that you can use the Google products. Once you've got that set up, uh, you can go into your Google Calendar through this grid here. Uh, you just select Calendar, and here you are. Uh, and what we're going to do is go immediately to My Calendars and click on Create New Calendar. You're going to go into this menu here and uh, pick a movie name, something really original. And then you're going to come down here to share with specific people. And you're going to have the email addresses for everybody working on your film, cast and crew. You're going to enter them here and give them access, uh, permission. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give them uh, make changes to events, at least for the actors, and then add person. And this will give them an email saying they have access to this calendar. Once I hit this button here, create calendar. And then under your list of calendars here, under my calendars, uh, there it is, movie name. Uh, so now we have this whole calendar to work with and what we're going to do is something that looks like this eventually but once what to start off with we're going to just enter everyone's name or you can ask them to enter their name since you give them you've given them access to the calendar and you can say hey go in there click on a cell type in your name uh, actually we're going to do something a little more humorous uh, and then you can stretch out the bottom of this box you can move it around in different days. Oops. Um, so I know, so we know uh, when you are available, uh, and you can add other people. Okay, so here we have uh, Molary and Curly and their availability on uh, Monday, August eleventh. So now what you do is you take your script breakdown, which Celtix, the free screenwriting software, will do for you. So you know what characters and what scenes. Then you can start grouping these scenes together. So if you have a scene that has Mo, Larry, and Curly, you can tell right here that, oh, look, they're available on this date to shoot that specific scene from 11 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m. where their schedules overlap. So we can then go in and create a scene. Uh, And we can also title or put their names in the title. You can also uh, change the color of the scene so it'll stand out better. But what this tells us now is that here's the scene, exterior taco stand day, and it has Mo, Larry, and Curly. And we can do this uh, with any other scenes that we need on this day with these specific actors. Okay, so here we have three scenes um, that have the actors the corresponding times that they've put in. And once we have all this information for this day, and of course we should do this for every day of the shooting schedule, you can then go ahead and delete the actor information. And then you've got your uh, little schedule right there. And then of course this is fleshed out and you have something that ends up like this. This is a full 12 hour day. Um, and we've got the different scenes which can be moved around much like a strip board, if you know what that is. And if you don't, they're just, just the ability to move scenes around at different times during the day if you have to adjust things, because you will. Um, and then, then you get this kind of electronic schedule. But now everyone can see 
and you can tell them hey the schedule is up and you can see it here on the Google Calendar plus you can also go up to more here and print them a calendar which you can get a hard copy of or you can um, just send it out to everybody via email as a PDF file so that is also a very handy uh, so that's that's basically it now there is also uh, an online version of scheduling software since this is kind of generic we're kind of shoehorning it into Google Calendar but there's also a website called movieschedulingcom that allow you to do a lot of the similar things actually many many more and it's free um, if you have just one screenplay if you want to add more then there's a, there's a fee like thirty dollars for six months or something but this is no longer supported I found out um, so this site could be turned off at any time even though with all the great things you can do with it including some awesome call sheets which I really like and everything's kind of automated you could email everybody automatically once all the information is in but there's kind of a learning curve uh, and again it's not supported but it is uh, geared toward movie scheduling and it's free uh, or you can also use Google Calendar because it is also free and it's owned by Google which means it's not going away anytime soon this has been the frugal filmmaker tip of the month